in a recent video I said that there was um, something that was sent to me where it was talking about this woman calling this man the n-word and calling the police on him and running over him with her wheelchair well I found the video but I can't play it the actual video in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the audio in the background the video is almost three minutes long take a listen to it and then I'm gonna give my take on the issue We got another one. We got another one. I called the next one. I worked by going around. There's a lady there in her man who care that's getting harassed by other people. It's getting fun. Yeah. Tell them how you ran me over and you punched me. Thank you. Tell them how you. No, I don't. Tell them how you ran me over. I just saw it happen. No, it's, it was you. It was you. Not a lady. It was you. Uh, my name's Rhonda. I'll in a power chair. I'll be on the platform. Go and eat now. Tell them how you hit me. Tell them how you was hit me. Was I talking to you? Was I talking to you? Tell it wasn't about you. Nigger. Oh. You fucking nigger. <laughs> she raised his <laughs> She races too. Oh, calling him a nigger. Nah, oh, nigga, she calling me all kind of niggers, man. I gotta get this shit on tape, man. She tried to rub me over and shit. She swung on me and shit, bro. Nigga, <laughs> I was just standing there, man. You know what I'm this one, we got another one. <laughs> This shit about to go viral, G. Say world star for me, bitch. Say world star. <laughs> Wait for the police for you, man. Uh, Since you called him on me, it wasn't about me? No. I mean, you just said, you know, uh, a lady in a wheelchair ran him over. And... I said, a person in a manual chair. Did, I, did you see me in a manual chair? Oh, okay. No. So, oh, so you blamed it on that lady over there. So you blaming it on the black lady? Shut up. Oh, okay. Shut up. And then you calling us niggers and shit. Okay. Because I see a black lady over there in a manual chair. You're about to be famous. <laughs> Cold piece of work. She tried to blame it on the black lady in a manual chair. When she rolling around in that chair, gee. Just called the police on a bitch. Oh, wait. She called the police on me, actually, after she ran me over. And I said, hey, man, that's a soap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then she swung on me. <laughs> Punched me a couple times. I can take it, but look. She tried to blame it on that lady. <laughs> okay, so y'all just heard the audio. I couldn't play the actual video. Um, It was um through Worldstar. I couldn't find the clip on YouTube to actually play. It's probably dead now, but um, y'all heard it for yourself. If I do find the clip, I'll post the link so you can actually watch the visual. So let me just explain what happened. So the guy recording, um, basically, he's, I guess this woman who was in a wheelchair, now mind you, she's in a wheelchair but herself, and she sounds like a witch. Like she, she smells like she smokes one too many cartons of Virginia Slims daily, which is why her voice probably sounds like that. And, um, there was some kind of an issue and then she had the nerve to blame it on a black lady who was in a wheelchair herself i don't know what the issue was i couldn't really tell because it's like it caught up midway through the video then when the black guy who was recording confronted her about her confronting that black lady she got irate with him, with him hit him a couple of times ran his foot over or ran him or tried to run him over with her with her wheelchair hit him a couple of times and called him the n-word you heard that in the video but the thing that gets me the most is, look at this picture. What do you notice? She has a, she's using a pay phone to call the police. Every other person that's called the police has used their cell phone. And she called from a pay phone. That's how low she is. Now, if they had to call her back, how are they going to get in contact with her? They're not going to call that pay phone back. Because it doesn't have a direct line. 
but she called from a payphone. I didn't even know payphone still existed. Like I don't when I walk when I see payphone like inserts if there's any there or payphone boxes, there's no phone inside of it. It's just it's almost like it's a like an empty museum going to a museum that's empty. Payphones nowadays are pretty much non existent. You can't really tell a maybe a child that was probably born in the last five years asking what a payphone is, they wouldn't know what it is. But this bitch called from a payphone. That's what makes this so funny to me. She's in a wheelchair. She's calling people the N-word. She's assaulting people. And she's blaming incidents that she calls on other black people that just happen to be around. That black lady in that wheelchair is probably completely oblivious to what the hell is going on. And if they was to roll up on her, she'd probably like, what's going on? Oh, this white lady called the cops and said, you just did this, that, and the third. Good thing the brother was actually recording it. And that this video hopefully has gone viral. But you can tell this woman is miserable and lonely. She probably has no friends. She probably has no family. They probably just owned her because they probably knew she was batshit crazy. But like I said, the funniest part is the fact that she actually called the police on this guy and probably that woman on a payphone. I can't get over that. (sighs) Just uh, it's another day, another day for the palm colored Neander. Susan, Becky, Heather, whatever you want to call her. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.